All right, it is now recording. Let me get my bearings. Ugh, I can't even look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking forward to this one, folks. I am, okay, I will bring some positiveness I to this am movie. Physically ill. Just. <laughs> <laughs> it's only an hour and 25 minutes but it seemed forever <laughs> do you know that they spent four million dollars on that did they really they spent four million I, that's hard to believe it. three hope. million went towards benny the robot dr- uh, taxi oh, driver come on. it should have gone to debbie <laughs> reynolds okay we gotta start okay <laughs> Attention, bobsled riders! You will soon be embarking on a thrilling podcast down the icy slopes of the Matterhorn. So please remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the bobsled at all times. Op Wiedersehen! Hello, yodlers! We are the Matterhorn Yodlers. I'm your host today, Jeefith, with... Jackie. And... I'm Benny the cab driver. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so quirky jokes. (laughs) You are. (laughs) And then we also have... Father Yodler. He's joining us today. And today we are going to jump on a train, the nostalgia train, which I, I believe it. It wrecks horribly on this one. Hey, wait. It's not nostalgia to me. This is the first time I saw it. Yeah, but it's nostalgia for a lot of people. And the movie we're going to talk yes. about is Halloween Town. Yes. Oh, my this goodness. This is Hollow. Oh, wrong movie. Wrong movie. Yeah, this is Halloween Town. This is definitely big for, like, the millennials. 1998. 98 was the first one. They made two, one, two after. They made three there's a halloween there's four town there's high four school town. there's a second one and then there's like a third one there yeah. there's there there's the original then there's two then there's a high school yeah. and then there's a return the return oh, yeah which the return one i think they like recast they everyone didn't, or something they didn't. i don't know no they the the brother was there i think uh the, the main girl she got changed she got out. changed out and then uh debbie reynolds right she was there too and the mom Right. Because, you know, what else you got going on? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're Halloween town, apparently. But, yeah, so this has, Jackie said, a following. Um, it's a, it was released on Disney Channel. It's a Disney Channel. You can definitely tell. Original. Yes. And, and you're just like, okay. Uh, they spent $4 million on it. This is an early DCOM original movie. Very early. Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is like pre them using Disney Channel talent. Yes. Yes. Uh, this actually has uh, 22,000 ratings on IMDb. It has a 6.6. So An average. like It's average, and that's surprising for a uh, Disney Channel original movie. Like So uh, a brief synopsis of it, you know, for those who haven't watched it and wants to watch this and then join in on us as we clown on it. <laughs> Uh, it is a when a young girl living with her secret witch mother learns like witch, ha, 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 you know that's my witch laugh. Like Agatha. <laughs> like Agatha, uh, mother learns she too is a witch. She must help her witch. Must help her witch. It's so weird saying witch. witch like witch. witch grandmother must help her witch grandmother save Halloween Town from evil forces. Um. <sighs> Yeah, that's that's it, Mister Chocolate. Okay, can bar. we talk? Yeah. Can, or should we focus on the at least some positive points? Well, um, I mean, we're, we're we're at the early. We're at the early. Like, yeah. So this is here. the this is the part where we, we gave synopsis. So there's a witch, teenage witch girl, and she's the Sabrina. Yeah, it's <laughs> what it was. I was like, watch. I was like, man, I'd rather be watching Sabrina now. Like, I don't really don't want to watch this. Uh, I've voiced my complaint. I wouldn't watch it. I, I would I, I it's a nay for me, but if you want a good clown and you want someone to join in on the clowning, continue to listen to this podcast. It's not quite it's not quite black level black hole level, but it's it's pretty bad. I thought it was okay. I mean okay. All you right. know, if you're looking for something Halloween to watch with your kids, with your kids. it's okay. Yes. For it being a Disney Channel movie. 
a Halloween that's not like scary. This is not a scary no. movie. No. Uh, oh, I don't know. Did you see those <laughs> costumes? That was <laughs> well, scar- we'll scary, scary, like costumes. terrible. We'll, we'll talk about who uh, sponsored this movie. <laughs> Party City. <laughs> Clearance Spirit, Spirit Halloween. Spirit Halloween, Spirit Halloween clearance sponsored this movie. <laughs> the year really? prior. Oh. No. 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 <laughs> this is what it looked like. Um, as much as Borrows uh, like, look, sponsors our podcast. Everybody's wearing face paint. They had the carnival that day. Everyone got face paint <laughs> that day. Overall, I think it's a one and done watch. You got one, right? One no, bizarre. for me it was two and done because I fell asleep <laughs> during it. So I need to I, to watch it again to get all the way through it. So it's it's definitely a two. Could you think while you're watching this a a worse Halloween show or movie to watch like you've seen? Yes. Worst one? Ones? Like worst one. There's a- like I was thinking of episodes from TGIF that were like, man, so, well, so much better than this. So Disney has definitely, Disney Channel has were released, Disney Channel for a while released a bunch of like Halloween themed movies. And there was one about aliens. Um, oh, the, the Halloween movies from Disney Channel don't have the greatest of track records. Yeah, but if like... Like some- there, there's some good ones. I think it was a Phantom of the Megaplex. That was a pretty good yeah. one. Yeah. I like that one. But like there was one where it was just like a kid was like trying to reach out to aliens and then there, there were like alien salesmen coming to like get him to come. I don't know. It was I just, weird. I thought if for those that remember the Goosebumps like book TV show. It had goosebump vibes. It had goosebump vibe, but I was like, man, I want to go watch Goosebumps over this. Like, I just could not think of anything that was I just could not think of anything that was worse than what I was watching. It was painful. And I don't understand because if you go to IMDb and you look at the reviews, they're all like 10. So like, excellent. And I was like, is this like the, is this the gummy bears that give you like <laughs> chronic diarrhea and then you get to write your you use your english lit like skills your college degree by writing this you know profoundly humorous experience of explosive diarrhea by watching or not watching but eating these gummy bears is that what this is equivalent to for the millennials <laughs> That's, i just i didn't I, I thought it's like is this like it's the rough. joke where you make it you build it up so much to where everyone's like you gotta watch this it's like Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, is that really? what it's equivalent to? Or is it like, this is an no, amazing movie, uh, and you watch it, and you're like... Uh, Napoleon, uh, the, Napoleon Dynamite's <laughs> different, because that one's like, <laughs> yes, initially you're like, this is stupid. And then you end up like... Heck yeah. Then you start quoting, be like, this is stupid, like this line, and this line, and then you just fall in love with it. This does not do that. This, there is no, no people the like, writing. oh, There's that no broomstick. Quoting. That broomstick is amazing. It's so cool. No, the writing is not the best no and then the directing is not the best because what it looks like is that they took everybody individually and they made them do a hundred cuts saying the line until they said it right and then they cut it all splice it all together and so they don't interact with each other correctly. So it's like that's a really good observation. It it just it looks like and, and you're dealing with children so I can understand that. Okay, let's do it again, but let's do it this way and that way. But there's but they, no fluidity but they to the don't scene. Blend together. I mean, you could tell. At least I could. Debbie Reynolds knows how to act. Yes, yeah. and she knows how to present things. She didn't have a lot to work with, but that's probably one of the reasons it uh, it it got so many favorable reviews. I think. Is Debbie Reynolds? You think she was the weight of it? I, is that what's bringing these millennial nostalgia train people? I think there is no. some solidity to it. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I think we got to the point. So we're looking at it from today's point of view, which we've seen lots of good movies. Right, the special effects are special definitely effects not are better. Today. But a movie that came out in '98. When did is, Hocus Pocus come out? '93. 
Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, 93. But it was was motion picture. That's motion picture. This is Disney 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 Channel. Channel. I don't care. It's... Do you guys remember the scene in the movie theater? Okay, so now we're going to really spoil it. We're going to bring in specific, yeah, like, really horrible things about this movie. Like, <laughs> let's talk about horrible things. The movie theater scene where he's, like, shooting electricity <laughs> and the guy that was sitting there frozen is, like, lifted up and it's this dummy, like, thrown against the screen. I was like, golly, this makes Black Hole look like Star Wars. Well, like, I, I was just like, this was... Motion picture Disney Channel. It was... I didn't get the whole part where, like, they're in the movie theater, right? And the kids escape out the door and it's Brian. And he's all like, oh! Yeah. And then at the end, he's outside and I'm like, I, what? I was I was like, yeah, I watched it again today. I was like, did I? Is he outside? Yeah. <laughs> well, they they start where it gets really cloudy and dark, and he. It's that he's wearing the hood, and then he cha- he flips the hood, and he's like back to a human. Yeah. Is that what he was? Well, because of yeah, yeah. And so it, it changes Come on, over let's put time. some logic in this Halloween but- <laughs> town here. Let's bring some real world logic here. All right, but, but Calabar, he. He is a typical villain that they say he's chewing up the 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 scene, you know, the sets, you know, because he's so overacting. In he's so sense. bad. Yeah. But <sighs> part of the reason is he has <laughs> Jafin's face right he now has... is gold. If we had the video going right now, <laughs> you guys would see his face Just like he up. has no. I think he's trying really hard. He has nothing to work with. Literally nothing to work with they just set him up there and say say your line really villainous and so he does it but there's no cover there's no special effects there's no good lighting on him the all the star wars actors acted on a giant blue screen they were actually in a town and people wearing masks here what do you mean there's nothing to work off of (laughs) The villain guy. I mean, they didn't cover him afterwards with well, anything to. I mean, if you just watch Star Wars with the green screen, you're kind of going to go, eh, what's so going you're saying on? All, like this, the, the acting and the background is like green screen. Do you yes. think they could just take the actors out and just like add all these cool, like today's special effects and would the movie be good? No, like, the acting's bad. Like the acting <laughs> yeah. is really it's bad. bad. Even Debbie the Reynolds, kids, I was all like, Debbie oh, Reynolds you deserve bad. to be here. You, this is it. Like, <laughs> this, this is, is where you have ended. This, like, I your blame, 1960s, 1950s I acting the is here. writing and the directing on it. Oh yeah, yeah. Editing, the, it's bad. It's it's she's doing everything she can with what she's got. She, you know what? She portrays the sweet mm-hmm. grandma really witch. well. Yeah, but like you're bringing in magic and your special effects look horrible. Well, absolutely I horrible. I love the, the brothers like glowing fingers. <laughs> that was one of the better ones. So uh, yeah, that one was like, all right, okay, you stepped it good. up towards and the then, end. And then, <laughs> then when, when he joins the Just others, <laughs> when they join the others, there's no special effects that, that, for that, the that, fun. I was going to tell you Yeah, where did that. it go? It when it we're we're all like, Callahan's or whatever. Like, here, here's your big epic final fight. We're all holding hands and looking at the ground, <laughs> thinking really hard we're gonna win. We're gonna win. <laughs> I want to win, and that's how we're gonna win. And there's that's no magic there and think, There's no glow. There's no lighting effect. No, there's nothing. It's, it's just we sit there, and he just looks at you like, <laughs> "I'm just gonna sit here and wait." They could have added a happen. fart sound at that moment, and would have <laughs> saved the movie. I'd be like, "You nailed it. This is a giant fart." Oh man, it's yeah. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. The you know, you're dealing with a typical teenager that wants to go out on Halloween, and the mother's like, "No, you will not go out." And then there's you got... things you don't know about Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What happened to the mom in Halloween Town?" Yeah. I she she chose the human life, right? And so that's why she's like, "I'm protecting you because I don't know what's gonna come out of you." Like, you remember the first episode of Sabrina? She's like floating in her bed, right. like it's that kind of fear, and it's like, "All right, I'll go along." Did did everybody think that the brother sucked? Yeah, of course. He was yeah. He was the party pooper of the of, of the, the group. I prefer nature documentaries. It was like oh. He's like they, oh, they, this is a dream. They, they either make him. They either make boys 
super like booky and like nerdy or they make them super dumb there's yeah. no like middle ground Can we have for, a normal guy uh, <laughs> there's no normal yeah, people true. that's true and and the little sister she's matilda yeah she was adorable well, not the same actor Yes, she's not the same actor, but she's the Matilda yes. actor. Yes, yeah. she was like, cute. She was adorable. I would have liked more of her. I thought she was going to save the day. Yeah, she was I floating so cookies. Too. I thought she was the chosen I one. I thought she was too. And when they gave it to the, the teenager, older sister, honestly, like, yeah. it probably would have been better if they focused it on her than the older teenager. It would have been more fun. Yeah, but. It, it so yeah the 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 mom's like no no Halloween so it looks like Halloween should shut down in that house and then Grandma shows up, Mary Poppins style you yep. know she jumps from the bus and she shows up and it's like spoils the kids yeah. what grandparents with their, do with and their carpet bag the, Mary yeah, Poppins Mary yeah. Poppins uh, part, part of the problem is it doesn't feel like Mary Poppins because they have a synthesizer for an orchestra <laughs> yep and it's you know they. It's okay, but it's just a synthesizer, so you don't get the full orchestra effect of Mary Poppins floating down. You get a synthesizer from the nineties, <laughs> and and that that is definitely a weakness of the film. I agree, you know. So the mom doesn't like the grandma interfering, and so she's like, "Fine, I'll leave. You, yeah, I'm not wanted. Okay." And then the kids sneak off. And ride the spooky, you know, uh, Miss Frizzy's bus of doom right. to Halloween Town. Miss <laughs> um, Frizzle? Yeah, Miss Frizzle. Is uh, this where the they get uh, the bus? Harry Potter bus uh, idea? Is there a Harry Potter bus? There is. Oh, or is it the floating the, car? It's the night uh, bus. Yeah, it's like the purple like bus. That. I think that's what it's called. Like I think she bus. wrote it before the ho Halloween Town. It was around the same time, wasn't it? When it came. Well, out? No, this is this is a future think... one. This would be after Halloween Town. No, maybe, no, no. Maybe she, she wrote she was, the book. Yeah, yeah she, she was, wrote the book before Halloween Town. No, because she was looking for in inspiration. She's like, book. let's watch Halloween Town. No, it's not in the first <laughs> book, but it's like when the in the book. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about when she published the books, but I think the, the first book she published was like early 90s. So Yeah, so. and I'm not saying that, but... So let's get back. We're yeah, in Halloween let's, let's Town. Let's get to Halloween. Yeah. And we are introduced to this town of Halloween Isn't it in costumes. Oregon? It's in Oregon. It's in Oregon. But <laughs> it's not in Oregon. It's, it's in, in another, another dimension. It's in another dimension. I mean... They could, she just could have taken a train, but she took this bus that flies. <laughs> <laughs> Third star to the right. I don't yeah. know how FAA feels about flying buses, you know, with Frankenstein. Just humans and pushpins can't get along. Yeah, so we, we, we get to meet um, Benny, the, the taxi driver. Hey, that I like That Benny. was probably the most impressive he thing. Was, he was the most He was the most character. fun character. He was fun. He I was, like that. Uh, there's a reason why they kept him around for. I think the, he he's in all the other. I think they probably blew a majority of the budget just on, on Benny the Robot. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, they had a nice Disneyland reference in there. It's like, oh, it's it's, it's an animatronic. Oh, that was oh, great. Yeah. I love that it's joke like, about about as I go. See when Mr. Lincoln drives me home from school. Or whatever. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that was a good. That was a good reference. That was excellent. And then we get, and then we meet the mayor, which I was like, this, he screams like that creepy, you know, uh, second husband. <laughs> yes. He just, he's just trying to, he's impress. like, Hey, what's behind your ear? <laughs> you okay. Was, you're just like, I don't trust you. Like so you're you got, saying the second husband, in the Santa Claus movie. <laughs> just, it's like Neil. Yeah. Neil. He's, he's Neil. He's in that Neil camp where yes. you're just like, nah, bro. <laughs> not interested like it's just ah no and i always like the line mom you dated that guy <laughs> <laughs> we could have ruled the whole universe <laughs> <laughs> the mayor turns out to be the bad guy you know wears a oh, creepy melting mask. mask i don't know why does he have to wear a mask or maybe and that's his true form light i don't know I don't think only at certain times you know <laughs> When he's wearing the mask, it's like, uh... <laughs> I like I like the idea that, although it kind of ruins the idea of Halloween, that 
the only reason they went to a world separate from humans is because living with humans, people hated how gross they looked, that they were becoming bad guys because of how people reacted to them. So they had to separate themselves. Yeah, yeah it's all, a novel idea. They're all good right? people, you know, in yes. Halloween Town. They're happy people, except for this mayor. This mayor that's like, I need to conquer both realms. It's all like, <laughs> who's like all right, Clue from Tron, all right? <laughs> take it easy. Who's like Benny the Cab? He was like, oh, you gotta stay away from some bad people in town. The the <laughs> foreshadowing of it. And it was like, oh, those like who? Those kids right there. <laughs> and somehow they end up in a movie theater after the mom shows up and mad blaming the grandma and, and like they meet the villain guy who's got his own air wind system to blow <laughs> his his robe around and and create. It's this. one of those 4D theaters. Apparently, it's those 4D theaters with those special. So I effects. needed my daughter to hold up a fan yep. to like oh, <laughs> spray so you with powerful. water spray bottle, yeah. you know, Amazing. on the wet water scenes. Yeah, yeah, and and at that point. Uh, they they freeze people in this theater. Why do you have to bring the people into the theater to freeze them? They're, I think they're hypnotized by the cloud effects on the screen. Maybe, <laughs> but like he's like shooting freeze spells oh, at that, them. That just starts them, and then they're in this. Because he needs this medallion thing, right? Or this Merlin, amulet, Merlin's. Yes. Thing. Tal Talisman. 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 That's is yeah. that what it was? Yeah. Okay, it makes sense because I was like, it's no amulet. It's like this giant <laughs> flashlight <laughs> it's, that it's you buy. It's like an it. end of a cane. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Debbie Reynolds' uh, character, uh, Aggie, she has it and she won't give it up. Give it to you. And she's frozen, and it was fun. I like watching her try to hold her pose when she was frozen, because <laughs> they didn't have any money to do anything else, right? <laughs> now stay still. How still? <laughs> Definitely frozen still. <laughs> you know. So, and then the, the kids like escape, and they're like, "We should get away." No, he's 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 scared of the lights. And he's like, you open the light in a dark room, everyone's going to go, oh, <laughs> that's bright, bro. No, why would you do that? We had a good thing going on over here. It's a good thing that you hosted this episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have far more to say about this than anybody else. Yeah. Well, when you watch it twice, you're just like, oh, why would you do this? Um, then they have to do what? They have to do a, a, They have to get the spell to get the the talisman working. Right. So we got to do the silly gags around town. So we we assault a a werewolf barber. <laughs> yep. Yep. To get hair. Oh, that was not a good. Scene. That was horrible. <laughs> That's not a good scene. It's be at least it's better than the 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 broomstick. Oh, salesman, salesman. that acts like Elvis. <laughs> yeah. Just like that what was... are you doing? All right, do whatever you want, because we don't have the money to give you any kind of creativity, <laughs> like written creativity. Then they go, and then here's the second most expensive effect that they had. Is the ghost? The ghost the in ghost. the sauna. Why did you have to make fun of him? You just need the sweat. He's going to do it. Why are you insulting him? <laughs> the little girl's like, woo, woo, woo. Like that was like was that necessary? Did you have to insult him? They had to do something because there was nothing there else was to do in there. in there. You're just waiting, like, hey guy, can we can we get some sweat? You're you're gonna do it, you know. <laughs> you know, would have been interesting, like the tear of a ghost, right. kind of like the yeah. like the mermaid. You need right. to make him cry. No, nothing. You just you just insult him, make him feel really <laughs> bad. Yeah. You know, and then and then you see the total change out of how they they change the out the actor, actor to like this really skinny, <laughs> really dude, skinny guy with the hat over his head because you know you, you can't see his face. Right. It was uh, yeah, but it was definitely clearly a different person. So what we learned from that scene that ghosts retain water really well, yeah. and they have to <laughs> go to a sauna to... with steam. <laughs> to lose <laughs> what? To more water like, weight. To more lose water weight, <laughs> right? More, more likely to encounter ghosts in a humid environment. Yeah. The whole concept of a ghost in a Halloween town is just like, wait, so if you die, then you can go to Halloween town? Do you just town? hang out in Halloween town? 
are ghosts not accepted in our world? I mean, there's shows dedicated to them where people, I mean, you can't go to a hotel in Prescott without it saying it's haunted. Yeah. <laughs> you know how hard it was for me to find something that wasn't haunted? I had to go to the desk and be like, hey, which floor is least haunted? And they're like, second floor is pretty good, but don't go down to this room. <laughs> cool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Only three murders happen on that. <laughs> they probably explain all this in the sequels. Maybe we're we'll only see. reviewing one. Yeah, this is the foundation for it. Ugh. It's a rough foundation. It's a sa- it's a, it's a sandy one. And then they have to get a a tooth. Oh yeah, from, from a, vampire. a vampire. So they go to the dentist. They go to the dentist. And it's convenient that a vampire was there. Was getting defanged, but I love. That their special effect is just putting the blackout Black, paint on the blackout tooth. Blackout paint on the tooth. <laughs> and you're just yep. like, oh, this just reeks of like some 14 year old, yeah. like, yeah. you know, Susie sleepover kind <laughs> of movie. Who would make a movie called uh, that? Shout mm. out to those who know that reference. Right. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, we should post that on, uh, uh, on, the, on YouTube the YouTube page. channel. <laughs> no, <laughs> Jack, we're Jack. not. It's not ready. <laughs> it's not ready. <laughs> um, so at this point, you got uh, they 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 do the potion with these ingredients, and then they get the talisman to work, but th- it doesn't work on the person, right? Mm-hmm. Or did they bring it up to the person? I can't even remember. No, they're trying to put it to the pumpkin. Oh yeah, they're all like, oh, it's it's gotta be inserted. Right. Yeah. And there's this giant pumpkin in town, and like that's when the villain decides, "Hey, I'm not scared of the sunlight," and <laughs> attracts the whole town, going, "Rise up, we will shall take." You know, like these people are all chill in their own town, and just goes, <laughs> "We're going to take over the other world." And they're like, "Why? Why? Why are we uh, gonna do that?" And, and the funny thing is, they just sit, stand there, and just like, okay. It's a very passive I wonder, town. I wonder if they're <laughs> like, if it happens on a regular occasion. All right, who's, who's saying? <laughs> who's, who's the crazy uh, now? Who's, who's Hitler this week? <laughs> right. right. It's right. just. So they, they have this battleground there, and yeah, they, they, they insert it in the pumpkin, and then. Well, the, he he shocks her, freezes her before. Yeah, the dramatic, like, I'm frozen. But I'll drop it yes. into the slot perfectly, into the and then. But the battle's not over because he has the force and he 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 summons it right. up. And I was yes. just like, "Wow, this! I just can, do we have to prolong this? <laughs> it's like that scene from the scene from Lord of the Rings where that guy gets shot with multiple arrows, yeah. and you're at the midnight Born showing, here? and it's three o'clock in the morning, and you're like, Born just." die <laughs> all right it's three in the morning i'm tired i don't want to watch this anymore it was like that at this point but we're only at what minute 90 you know yeah. it's towards the end and then it takes the whole family in all their power to, 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 to chant, think to, to think, think to think and to get out of their they start own way chanting, but then they stop chanting because the <laughs> chanting wasn't working so they're just gonna stand there and think i really think hard. i can i think i can it's it a was, music man the think system okay. right it was just and then it he disappears he's gone right yep and then they invited grandma to grandma could come <laughs> over anytime <laughs> right what happened to his the puppet bat on his desk. He had a puppet no, bat? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he had, had a, a puppet. It was like part of his like secretary or yeah. right. Oh, it's right. Like Maleficent's Raven. He had a, a puppet bat a puppet on his bat. desk. Well, I think he comes back in a sequel movie, so we'll uh-huh. we'll yeah. maybe find out then. Oh, and I, I totally glossed over one character, which I thought I know, was, we totally did. We totally didn't even his talk His name's about. like Lex. He's like the guy. He was like the henchman for Koblar or whatever his name is, the villain. But then he's, he's like, whoa, we're actually hurting people. Like, you have a whole movie theater of people, and now you're <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You froze grandma. Bad bad form. You, you crossed the line. You crossed the line here. <laughs> we weren't hurting people. She, I, she's a named character. Okay. But the reason why he's helping him is because he got a plastic surgery job. Yeah. Uh, he got a nose What job. happened? And he's like, I, I wanted to be pretty again. <laughs> 
<laughs> that actually, was my deal. Actually, I thought he looked he, he, he looked pretty good after he lost his, uh, his plastic look? surgery. I thought they did a good well, job on that match. Well, the the main actress, I mean, she seemed more attracted to him with that nose job uh, after that. She's like, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that scene from X Men, you know, where he's like right. coaxing, like be your true self, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. That's how the movie ends. They save the day. Very traditional. Like, very simple, paper thin kind of story, uh, plot. Uh, we didn't talk much about the costuming. Let's yeah. talk about costumes. Uh, yeah. I like the basketball guy. He's got this big old giant <laughs> neck, this like pale face skin, but he's got a good tan on his arms. It's it's bad. Like there's the, a the, push pin, and I was like, why is a push pin? The push Halloween? pin dress <laughs> thing. Yes. Yeah, it's just. Oh yeah, it, it, it was just. <laughs> I was like, like, I came out of nowhere. This, yes. <laughs> this it was like Star Wars Cantina to another level. You know, it's like whatever costume we can find, just throw it in <laughs> it there. Was literally, it works. They're it was, in the dumpster of party <laughs> city. <laughs> or the it's clearance, spirit Halloween the, the, yeah. clearance costumes for sure. <laughs> we blew all our money on Benny. We need some costumes. Benny turned out all right. Benny was the highlight. I for me, it I was, was like, funny I'm because I remember seeing a kid in the background and he's like in a wizard costume, but he's wearing a blonde wig, but has brown hair, like long brown hair. The, so, the girl, it, but he was like the wig was just on top. I was like, you couldn't put it in a ponytail and put the wig on. No, no, no. 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 It was too much work. I like the working out cat. That <laughs> <laughs> one was like, what is? She this? had a lot of screen time for somebody that didn't speak. It was ridiculous. What was that? I, I looked at it. And I said, what is this? <laughs> the hair salon guy, the werewolf. Yeah. He was ridiculous. I would say my apologies to all the people that love this movie, but come on, like how it's bad. It was bad. Let's take the let's take the nostalgia glasses yes. off. And I kept thinking, it's like, is this what people think of heavyweights? No, because I love heavyweights, and it's so nostalgia for me. But okay. it's a goofy movie. But like this movie, just none of the lines land. Yeah, it's there just... was no comedy really. There's attempts. <laughs> oh yes, Benny. the Benny. Nick, the name calling was on point. You know, uh, what did they say? Candy bar, chocolate Can bar, chocolate, chocolate bar, calabar, wiener. Is his name. <laughs> And they called him Chocolate Bar. And it, that came out of nowhere. And it's like, why are they calling him Chocolate Bar? Chocolate Bar! They, chocolate uh, Bar! I was like, it's like my daughter when she insults. She's like, Daddy Diaper Poopy Face. It was like, I was just like, wow. I, I, we've reached four-year-old level of insults here. Um, yeah. Uh, is there any other complaints was there anything positive <laughs> okay so anyone here, got from here this are some positive outlooks on this movie that i liked was that I, it ended <laughs> that was my favorite part so the my credits. i like the overall concept of halloween town where it wasn't scary like or like a Halloween movie that wasn't scary. It's, it's designed for children yes, to enjoy. It, it the goes Halloween over episode. the classic Halloween because I am not a big Halloween fan. I don't like the scariness of it, the creepiness of it. But so I like the fun Halloween side, the fall side. You know, the pumpkins and you know mm. playful witches and ghosts and you know the fun whimsical side of it you would have been perfect age for this do you remember watching this as a I kid i did i would watch and it did you I like it every halloween i would watch it because it was on like abc or disney oh, channel oh it better not be on abc well abc you could have put an infomercial ABC on family ABC, or... family abc family i could see or disney channel and you know it was always reruns you know it wasn't like today's day and age where you can choose what to watch it was just on tv and you would just watch it this is my disney channel time i guess i'm watching halloween time yeah <laughs> halloween town Oh, I'm watching this uh, f episode of High Anna Montana for the fifth time. Okay. Yeah, I. It was hard for me. The Benny was the highlight for me. Yep. I was just impressed with like, wow, that's really good. Me. And then it, j everything else, just I was like, no effort. Me personally, I would love 
for them to remake this. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Remake nope. it. Nope. Completely write it. Okay, good. All right. We're going we're getting in the right. I don't care. Nope. I want the burn same, it in a barrel. I want the it's same gone. concept of Halloween Town. But I, I'm fine with it catching on fire and <laughs> seeing the mask burn away. I, think, I would I would give that. I think there's potential in it. What what don't even want what what potential does it have? Well, the things you hate is the acting that can be fixed, the directing that can be fixed, the editing that can be fixed, the special effects that the can be fixed. The storyline. <laughs> so you're basically saying like, I just want if this was a car, itself. the if horn we... is the only part salvageable. We could totally rebuild this. We're yes. gonna build this whole. So it's like we're, we're going I'm... to rebuild a Studebaker. I just it's gonna still be called a Studebaker, but it's. I like the idea of the town itself. But everything else can be fixed. I like the sound of this horn. <laughs> I just hate the vehicle it's in. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. If you bring Debbie Reynolds back from the dead, I think it's going to be very popular. I, I would be curious. I would be curious. <laughs> well, I mean, with deep fakes nowadays, you could probably pull that. Oh off. no, I want real what Debbie Reynolds. they brought Reynolds? Julie Andrews? <laughs> I don't think you're going to get Julie Andrews. <laughs> Andrews on board for that. Yeah, no. No, no, thank you. All right. Uh, do you guys want some fun facts? Sure, sure. let's hear it. All right. Um, during the filming of the first three Halloween Town films, Debbie Reynolds often introduced herself as Princess Leia's mom. Hmm. Sweet. Uh, it was filmed in St. Helens, Oregon, and after the filming, they donated the giant pumpkin because they did not want to budget that pumpkin coming back to wherever. And that town, they held festivals. They hold festivals for this. They love like the they love the they fact that the the movie was filmed Why in not? their town. Sure. Yeah, of course. And, if and you're again, a small town, then great publicity. How many kids are are going to grow up and say, "Hey, kids, I'm going to take you to Halloween Town." And they're going to go, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, coincidentally, Debbie Reynolds' late close friend Agnes Moorhead was called Aggie and also played a magical grandmother on Bewitched. Do you oh. know her name? I know you probably do. Uh, I don't. It's Andorra. Andorra, Andorra yeah. that's right. She was good. Um, yeah. Bewitch was not my favorite. I like Bewitch. Show in the 60s. There were a lot of good shows. There were a lot of good shows from that time. And mm -hmm. Bewitch was okay, but not my favorite. I like the genie one. I dream a genie. A dream a genie. I yeah, cuz they would they were paired together in yeah, the syndication. Um, let me review let me read some of the bad reviews. Okay. I'll read the headline. Might be the worst movie I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what star? I mean. I I'm, don't think so. I think I've seen a worse film. I've seen I a worse really film. Do. That Transformers Come on, you think sequel of, we saw. Oh, that one was horrible. You gotta horrible. think about any of the Disney sequel movies that we watched. I was all like, animation. what about the luck of the Irish? I was that, I watched. I was, there was a lot of movies all like... <laughs> I couldn't. So we're not looking forward to next year where we review Halloween Town. It may be too. better. Maybe, it may, may be better. Maybe we'll save that for uh, ten years from now. <laughs> this guy wrote uh, Willis Maximus. He goes, I mean, I really stuck through it, hoping it would get better. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, it's I was just relieved. It was finally over. <laughs> Actually, my nap felt better than <laughs> I was watching it. The acting is wooden, like the actors showed up and started winging it. <laughs> it wasn't that smooth, no. Debbie Reynolds had a perpetual, why did I agree to this expression <laughs> on her face? <laughs> and the costumes, oh my goodness. I really thought the monsters uh, were supposed to be regular people walking around trick-or-treating with cheap masks, <laughs> but no. They're supposed to be actual monsters. <laughs> <laughs> the face painting was really uh, bad. Yeah, it's uh, kind of the view of of that cantina scene. It's yeah, it's New Hope bad. when I first is saw it. Is that a stock of broccoli? Back I then? Said, <laughs> what is 
what happened to the budget all of a sudden? Uh, here's Bazing, Bazing Doug right here. He goes, so cheesy, it's painful. Unbelievably cheesy, predictable plot that leaves little to the imagination. Even for the late 90s, the CGI is nothing short of completely pathetic. And the costumes <laughs> make up are no better. Anyone who finds this film entertaining, I have a serious concern for your mental <laughs> well-being. <laughs> That's a good one. It's uh, a good one. Uh, cheesily overrated by Kill the Box Trolls. I love the names of the people <laughs> making these reviews. This movie was bad and overrated. I felt very disappointed and really embarrassed on how much people love this movie. But this was very boring, silly, absurd, and ridiculous. How old are these people? That's, that's the thing. <laughs> oh. I think eight-year-old was a good good age group for it. Uh, Six to eight. I'll leave, I'll leave it at that. That was... Um, let's give Mickey bars or, or rappers, whatever you want to... Um, just the stick slap. Just the stick. Saying? I don't know. Like, where, where? What did you find the one Mickey bar stick? All right, Jackie. Let's start with you. You're positive. I'll give on a, a one Mickey bar. One Mickey bar. It's bad, but I enjoy the concept of Halloween Town. All right, Peter. It's a one. It's it's it. It's a movie. <laughs> it accomplished that. It's a movie. That's about as good as it gets. It's a movie. It's a movie. It's a one star. Is there any movie that you could think that we've reviewed that is worse than this? That we've reviewed? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Do you think Black Hole is worse? Or oh no. No, no, no. Black Hole is good in the bad way. Like yeah. it, it's it's bad in a good way. It's entertaining bad watch. Right. And the special effects are better. At time are, and that are... music and the one letters like Help me, Max is trying to get me. You're like, whoa, plot twist. See, I will watch and Black the ending Hole too. Again. I will 100 percent watch Black Hole again. Because I'll laugh. You, 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 you could not get me to like. How much uh, money oh, would it no. take? If if Casey's all like, my wife is all like, hey, we're gonna watch it as a family. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna clean the toilet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I gotta go upstairs and clean. There's put something away I've been putting off for years. <laughs> this is, this is yeah. All right, Father Yoder, what's yours? For children, I give it three Mickey bars. For adults, I don't don't bother. <laughs> if you're a Debbie Reynolds fan, don't, don't bother. bother. <laughs> <laughs> and you're curious, <clears throat> three Mickey bars. Yeah, if you want to see what she'd look like in 1998 <laughs> and couldn't Google it, sure, stream it. <laughs> She had the best costume out of everyone. Oh, yes. She, she probably she brought probably it herself. Brought it. She was like, I ain't wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being caught dead in that horrible thing. <laughs> no, she she tried, and I think she read the script and said, oh, okay, it's kind of like Mary Poppins and so on. But you know I'm... she was in the running for Mary Poppins? Was she? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I did not know that. So it was kind of like a little like... But when they see her with the umbrella going down, people are like, oh, This she's... is not a very good booby prize for <laughs> the second place or whatever. No, it was... <laughs> no. Yeah, I wonder who was offered this role, and they're like, nah, I'm good. For adults, though. But if if you've got children below the age of 10, it I might think be children three, three, at three that time era of 98 children today i don't think would they, watch it they love people love this movie but i'm there's saying... so many great reviews and they're not little kids writing it because <laughs> they could not write what they were writing right it's definitely like the older millennial i mean i think it's a a younger millennial yeah even though i don't know I think it's got to be. It's older you millennial gotta be, because we're dealing late nineties. Yeah, it's late nineties. So. We're dealing with but my I was, age group. Right. The lead actress was my age, and I remember when it came out, and I wanted nothing to do with it. I remember seeing the promotion for it, and I was like, no, and I never watched it. Did you know she married someone in Halloween Town? He's in a sequel, but she married 
Well, what? You were That's 13. Cute. You were a teenager when this came so out. So was the lead actress. Okay. I just, like, I saw that and I was like, I want nothing to do with that. It's just. Well, you're in that era of, like, I'm done with Disney Channel. I still watch Even Stevens with you guys. Mm-hmm. I thought that was fun. Well, you yeah. Know. Yeah, much better. But this is definitely <laughs> a more yeah. girl. You think this is a girl movie? This is a girl movie. I would agree with that because the only. The, Boy part the, there, is the, the there's there's three guy parts. There's you get the Benny. little kid. You got the the teenager. The punk kid. Mom's second husband. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who like you're just watching me like is that Steve Carell's brother? <laughs> I'll say this. Mom was right at the beginning of the movie. You want nothing to do with Halloween Town. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it. Don't. Don't go. The you don't want to know. You don't. Better. You're better off not knowing about Halloween Town. Yes. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I'm taking mom's advice. Uh, and as for my rating, I give it a Mickey bar popsicle stick that <laughs> has melted and fell in the dirt. <laughs> like, I just think this is the worst movie ever it's if bad. you're an adult. It's bad. And, hey, if it's nostalgia thing, that's wonderful. I think Heavyweights is a hilarious film. We've yet to review that. One. We've yet to review it, but is it officially Disney? Yeah, it's a Disney yeah. movie. It's a Disney, it's a Disney, Disney? film. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on. It's on. Disney I mean, it Plus was. It was. It. Yeah, and my wife watched it. and She thought it was like it's not a great movie, and I'm like, what are you talking about? This is gold. This is this, this is, is great. Comedy gold. It's got ben Stiller in it, and. But and now I see. It, I'm like, oh. I'm blinded by my childhood nostalgia of this, and that's why I feel but heavy people weights have has this. quotable lines. Yeah, like Napoleon Dynamite or Nacho Libre. Like those are they're, bad. To, they're, they're bad, not good movies. They're not great writing movies, but they've got quotable lines, and it's funny. Halloween Town Halloween has Town none of that. Has does nothing. not have that. Like the one guy reviewed, I think everyone just woke up and decided to wing it with this idea of like, this is what we're trying to go with. Probably. We need a Halloween movie. It's a Disney Channel. Do something. Yeah. That was the idea. And instead of paying for costuming, this is just grab whatever costumes you have in your house and just come to come to the set. Yeah, that's and probably we'll, what they told all. We've the got extras. a professional. We all our money went into the professional face painter. The that person they hired that, from the county fair that's gonna do the exercise scene for like this <laughs> awkward like five seconds. <laughs> um, any last thoughts? No. 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 There's better Halloween movies. Well, you know what? Next year we'll we'll review it. We'll we'll, we'll see if it gets. We'll better. see if there's anything. Maybe Disney will come out with another Halloween show that we will not have to endure <laughs> watching a sequel. I don't know how. It must get better. It's kind of like Descendants, I guess. My wife says the first three are not great, but the fourth one's pretty good. So yeah, that's one I haven't touched yet. So well, you got kid now, so you I never tried know. a little bit, but I couldn't take. so all right well thank you for listening to us i'm sorry if you like halloween town uh please convince us you let me know what i missed while i was violently throwing up while watching this movie (laughs) um yes hit us up on our social media and write us a mean nasty review about why we stink at reviewing things because you love this movie or Join in on the fun. Tell us what else was horrible with this movie that you, you've you seen with it. Um, with that being said, Avita Zine. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of the Matterhorn Yodelers. Please remember, before your bobsled comes to a complete stop, to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And remember... Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor.